Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 3rd of June 2023. I hope you are keeping well and uh, enjoying your weekend. Uh, it's Saturday evening here. Oh, it's later than I really I didn't realize it was so late. It's getting quite late here. I, I didn't even notice. Um, what's going on in the world? Uh, I see someone has heckled Run De Sanctimonious. Uh, and uh, called him a fascist uh, with a bleeped out word there and uh, quite right too uh, he needs to be heckled and called a fascist every time and in fact the democrats need to go on the attack much more the thing is they don't they're sitting back and calmly letting the fascists take over their country the republicans of now are not the republicans of 20 years ago and there are still people who are going to vote Republican because they've re voted Republican all their life. And they don't even realize what the, f the, the, the level of extremism that there is in the Republican Party right now. I think that every time any Democrat goes on TV, they ought to say fascist Republican. Every time they say it. Like Donald Trump says, what does he say? Radical left. Every time he talks about, every time he says Democrat, he says radical left. No, they're like, it's so funny because, of course, isn't it? most of them are to the right of center. But he uses this. I mean, he just does this every time. And it seems to stick in the minds of low information voters. And that's what you need to do. You need to stick in the minds of low information voters. And so uh, Democrats need to learn something and they need to use this word and they need to say, look, well, we've what we've fought in World War Two to fight fascism. And now it's happening right here in our country. They need to stick do something it's the situation is getting beyond redemption i mean people are protest you know fascists are out there in the streets outside schools um you know blocking uh, um uh book readings and things like this the fascists are going to target stores and telling them to remove items that you know have rainbow flags it's just, just disgraceful disgusting behavior and uh but the Democrats are they're so weak. They are so pathetically weak and woolly-minded. They need to get tough. There we are. Saturday rant. <laughs> get on with it, America, before we before the whole country gets into such a terrible state. Uh, and the world, one that the world won't easily escape from. <clears throat> I say this on behalf of the rest of the world and as a friend. Hmm. Okay. LA Times, expert level game. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, uh, I just uh, drank a coffee. It seems to have a strange effect on me. <laughs> seven and three block across here. Seven and three block across here. We're going to get seven and three in these two squares. And guess what? We've got seven blocking there. So we can immediately get two digits before we go uh, any further in the game. <coughs> uh, we've also got an eight blocking down here and an eight blocking down here and an eight across there. So that's how I'm going to begin this evening's game. Uh, in this row here, I see a nine blocking down here and another nine blocking down here. So I will place a nine there. And I see a one blocking down there. So I will get a one there and we'll finish this row with a five. <clears throat> And I haven't really had time to look at the grid properly yet, just having spotted these few random things around. We've got one blocking down here, so we'll get ourselves a one there as well. Uh, and we have fives going up to the top here with a couple of fives blocking across these rows so we'll get five there Okay, these squares here comprise two and four so we will be left up here with Three, six, and seven, I think. Two, four, three, six, seven. So we've got a seven and three along here. So that's got to be a six. 
Uh, and now the six down here, six up here, six across there will give us six in that square. four blocks that's blocks along here it means that this can't be a four that has to be a four we'll finish this column with a two Um, 2 and 8 here and 2 and 8 here block this square and this square so we should be left with 2 and 8 in these squares but we have an 8 blocking up here so the 8 will go there and 2 will go there 4 blocks this square so 4 is oops, excuse me 4 is here and the last number here is a 9 I think We have nine across here and nine up here, so we'll place our nine there. We have four blocking across here and four up here, so we'll place a four in that square. Missing numbers up here are one, six, seven. We've got six and seven in the same column, so that's going to be a one. So the 7 in one of these squares here blocking across is going to put 7 here. 7 blocking down here means that's a 7. Uh, we'll finish off here with a 3. Uh, we have 8 blocking up here and 8 blocking these two squares there, so that's got to be an 8. And now we know that this is 6 and 7, so this has to be a 1. Um, and it's probably time to start looking through the numbers, is it, or not? No, actually don't need to. We've got 8 blocking across here and 8 blocking across here. So in this column, that will be an 8. And then we go 8s across like so, and up and down, and that will give us an 8 in that square, that's the final digit, 8. Right, now it's probably time to have a look at the digits.
okay we've got a, a nine blocking this square and we need a nine in this column so that's where it goes and then we've got one and nine blocking across here and one and nine down here so I see a pair of one and nine down here what does it mean um, well the four and the five block this square so this square and this square is four and five and this is one and nine so this is gonna have to be a six um, and over here what are we looking for uh, two to finish that column. Uh, okay, the six and the two both block this. Oh, no don't need that two blocks down here <laughs> let's do that instead six blocks across here you can tell I play these games live uh, six blocks up to the top there so that would be our six and the missing digit here is a seven one more to get here five uh, and I worked out before that one nine was here and I said that these two had to be four and five. So when the five blocks there, we know five is here and the four is there. Uh, just one number to finish this now. It looks to be a two. And down here, we need to finish with a four. That's still one and nine. Still don't know about that. Okay. All right, we've made reasonable progress, I think. Uh, let's look in this block over here. Or let's see what we've got over here. Fours, sixes, sevens. Okay, I've got uh, two, five, and nine in this row, and I've got two, five, and nine in this column. So when we block like this, we know that these three squares must contain two, five, and nine. Uh, don't know how it's gonna help me, but I do know that those are two, five, and nine. Uh, so it means the fives are gonna be like this, and the twos and the nines I don't really know about. But anyway, that's two, five, and nine. So how does that help? That means that when we have one blocking down here, one must be in one of these squares blocking across here, and then the one blocking across here, and the one blocking up here. It means that we will get ourselves a one in that square there. And our nine then blocks across here, which will give us a nine here. And we can finish with a three for that column. Um, now I'm going to come back and look at this again. I've probably forgotten. Was it two, five, nine, was it? Two, five, it was two, five, nine. So now we've got three blocking across here. So three will be in one of these two squares. So that can't be three. We've got three blocking up there. We can say for sure that must be three and now our two blocks up here so that will give us a two in that square and the missing number here is going to be six six down six up and six across these two rows here gives me a six there um, and of course now ones like this down there there's a one that we can place one blocking down here here's a one the last number here is uh, nine nine up here nine down there and nine across there it means this is a nine and the last number to get here is a five 
And of course we know this is a 2 because we had our 2, 5 and 9 in those 3 squares. 2 blocks across here. Here's the 2. The last number 2 place here is a 3. 3 back this way, this way. There's a 3. And uh, 7 blocks across here. That puts a 7 in that square. 7 is to the end here. Gives us 7 to finish. This would be a 4, 4, 4 finishes along there. That means this is a 4 and this is a 5. And that's our uh, Los Angeles Times Expert Level game for Saturday. See you around. Bye-bye.